Thank you guys again for tuning in today. I appreciate you guys viewing the content. Please don't forget to like and comment. This video is from the heart, and I hope you guys like it. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Today, once again, this is JQ215, also known as Jose Quinones. I am coming to you today uh, just to say hello. Um, I say, I see how everybody's doing, how everybody's taking in a new year. Uh, the month is almost over. It's the first month in the year 2020. Um, a lot has gone on. And, you know, I just want to say hello. One, I want to, two, I want to say continue on your journey. And three, never give up. So I hope all of you guys out there that set plans for the new year, you're still fighting hard for those plans. And you're not letting anything get in the way. And that's my promise to you that I'm not going to give up. And I just want you guys to continue to fulfill your promise that you will never give up as well. Today I just come to you one, um, you know, I've, I just, uh, I will say, I just, we just welcomed our new born son to this world and, you know, something that I've been talking about on my social media, on my channel, it's been about being kind, um, connecting with others, collaborating with others, building relationships, keeping strong relationships, um, staying in tune with people and your family and your friends and and not letting them go and cherishing them now because tomorrow is not promised. Uh, as you guys may know, a tragedy struck um, in, I believe it was Calabasas, where uh, nine people's lives were lost in a helicopter crash. Of those nine, um, one of those individuals was Kobe Bryant as well as his daughter, Gigi. And it was, it was sad because you never want to see a person's family break up you never want to see a child lose their father. You never want to see a parent lose their child. And you know, I've, I've lost people close to me. I've lost my stepmother who was very close to me, Karen. I've lost my stepfather who was very close to me, Gilbert. I still am fortunate enough to have my mother and my father, um, Gigi and Jose still here, supporting me and taking care of me and being there for me every day. Um, but I've lost, you know, my brothers, you know, I've, I've, I've lost, I've had a lot of loss in life. And it's crazy, right? Because the statistic is there's over 150,000 people that die each day. And all 150,000 of those individuals, I'm sure not all of them, right? I'm, I went from a fact, factual statistic to my own opinion, right? So I'm sure some of them were taken for granted. And that's something that I would say for everyone out there, do not take your family and friends for granted. You, you, you know, we, sometimes we think, oh, I can call them tomorrow or I can hit them up later. And the reality of it is, is we don't always have that opportunity. So it's important for you all to cherish those that you love and hold them tight. I, I don't know what I would do if I lost one of my children. I have three beautiful children. And I don't know what I would do if I lost them. If I lost my wife, who's my partner, I don't know how I would handle that. I don't know what void I would need to fill because of it. But, you know, it's, it's, it's close to my heart. And, you know... You know, I've 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 been fortunate enough to be to come across somebody last year who was a coworker of mine who told me about the Mamba mentality, right? And I've been following Kobe all my life. Um, Kobe is actually one of the um, top five in my top five um, of all NBA players. And you know, I've I've always said he was uh, he was just overlooked. You know, we all we went from Jordan to LeBron and completely forgot that the Black Mamba was there the whole time. And I love seeing the legacy he left. And people tend to think this is just sports for him. No, this man was a part of 10 plus charities and organizations. This man was a part of, you know, just, just, just a part of his community, a part of his family. He went through some tragedy and came back stronger than ever and became an even stronger man of faith in God. And that's what I strive for, you know, is I've made mistakes in my life. I've done things wrong and I hope that no one judges me for them. And I hope that people continue to support me regardless of the mistakes I make. But I promise I love my friends, I love my family. 
um, and I and I care for them deeply, and I don't do a strong enough job of staying connected. But I'm getting so much better than what I once was. So when you see me reaching out, text, call, email, post on social media, I promise, I'm getting better at connecting, and it's becoming more fulfilling connecting with family and friends often. Um, however, Kobe number eight or number 24, whichever one you would like to look at. He was still a great man. Um, Kobe Bryant was somebody you would want to strive to be like. You can't be that person. Everybody is unique in their own way. You can't be him, but you can strive to be like him. A hard worker, a dedicated father, a dedicated teammate, a supportive teammate, always with a smile on his face. You know, And this is only what I see in the media because I don't know him personally, of course. Um, but the, the reality of it is, is you always saw that big smile on his face. You always saw him working at the court. You always heard of him being up at 3 a.m. when others were asleep. Like that man is, is, is who you would want to strive to be like. A very strong individual, great teammate, great parent, great, great husband, great father, um, just an awesome person in general. And knowing that he's coming from our neck of the woods in Philly, a part of the Lower Marion School District, like it's... It goes to show you, you know what I mean? You see people doing it. You know, you've seen him do it. You've seen Meek Mills do it. This, these are individuals that lived in a place where we were told you're not going to amount to anything. You know, do your schoolwork. Because if you don't do your schoolwork, you're never going to be doing this. Or why are you singing or rapping? Why are you playing basketball or baseball or football? You're never going to amount to anything. And they overcame it. And there's other people out there, right? You got boxers like Danny Swift Garcia, Tevin Farmer. You know, these are people, you know, Kiko out there. Appreciate you too, bro. Always showing love and support. These are people who grew up in, in not the best of places, but still found a way to make it work, to make it happen. Including myself and my wife. We're both from Philadelphia. I'm from around Second Allegheny. My wife is from around um, Ian Allegheny. And we both overcame the odds. She went to college, LaSalle University. I decided to take on a career over here in Florida, and we both, I consider myself an individual that made it. I don't drive a Lamborghini, I have a Toyota Tundra. <laughs> she doesn't drive a Benz, she has a Camry. And, you know, we're very humble, but we don't devalue ourselves because we know what we bring to the table. However, you know, it's, it's very important for everyone to understand that when you feel like you've made it, you don't need possessions or things to make you feel like you made it. You made it. If your kids are fed, if your family's taken care of, if your puppy's happy and not worrying about anything, you've made it. And I cannot wait to the day that my children feel that way as well because that's when I feel like an accomplished father. But God bless those who lost people in that tragedy. God bless those who lose one of the 150,000 of people that die every day. You know, life is just a series of events. And the events you either learn from or the events you teach you something. I mean, you know, you, you learn from it or you're teaching somebody something throughout that experience of that event. But be kind. Have a good heart. And always do things the right way. Don't settle. Don't settle. Appreciate life. Appreciate those around you. When you wake up and breathe, appreciate that moment. Not everybody has that moment. But guys, I'm telling you, if you're following my channel, if you're watching my videos, I've been preaching this for the past three, four months. Just love those around you. Be kind. Do things the right way. Take care of those around you. Show some gratitude once in a blue. Life is short. And death is inevitable. It is going to happen. We don't know who is it going to happen to or when is it going to happen, but we know it's going to happen. That is the one short thing of everyone in this life. Is that that one thing that we're going to do no matter what is die. So embrace it. Don't be scared. 
Go live your dreams. Do what you want. If you want to go get married, but you can't afford a wedding, go get married. I couldn't afford a $50,000 wedding. I could probably put a ten, twenty thousand dollars wedding together, but not a fifty thousand dollar wedding. But me and my wife got together and said, "Let's just go get married because that's what matters." Do what you want. If your kids say, "Dad, I want you to come hang out today," Dad, come to the park, come have fun, go do that. Be with your family. Be with your friends. That time, hold that time tight. I'm sorry guys, I'm in the backyard so ten and a half kids walking around. This is a beautiful neighborhood that I live in. Kids walk around with their families. Um, kids walk to school on their own, they ride their bikes on their own. Like this is the type of neighborhood I live in, I love it. <clears throat> but um thank you guys for tuning in. Once again, uh you can find my channel on YouTube by searching JQ215. After you search JQ215, bye bye, bye. After you search JQ215, I want you to subscribe. After you subscribe, I would love for you to hit the notifications icon so you know when I'm launching new content. After you find out when I'm launching new content and you get the new content, if you can, if you love the video, like it. Liking the video shows me that you're in tune with my channel, it shows me that you're watching my videos. So like the video, leave a comment. If you don't agree with the video, leave a comment. If you feel like it, you have your own opinion on the video, leave a comment. If you want to share something that helped you live your dream and become someone great, leave a comment. I want to hear from you guys. The more, from you, the more I interact with you, the more I understand different aspects. So thank you guys. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys for always tuning in. Thank you guys for always showing love and support. Um, thank you guys for watching my content. Thank you guys for sharing my content. Um, just thank you. It, it is very much appreciated. I never want you guys to ever feel like I don't appreciate what you do for me. And thank you guys out there to those people that show love and share my stuff too. Um, people who are also in the YouTube game, you know, my, 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 my homie Joey Stacks and Joe Stacks always doing those funny videos and doing those cool car reviews. Um, my homie Motor Mama who does amazing bike reviews and also does some unboxing as well. Um, so these are all these people that are on YouTube trying to make a difference, trying to do something different. Um, and even if it's not something different and it's something that's similar to what somebody else is doing, however, it's your version of it. You're your own unique version. So continue to be that unique version of yourself. And thank you guys again. Do not forget, subscribe, like, repost, share the content if possible. Uh, most of my content sharing happens on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and then I normally put out when I'm going to distribute new video content through Instagram. Um, you can find me on Instagram, JQ215, Twitter, JoseQ215. Um, YouTube, JQ215, you can find me on Facebook under Jose Quinones Jr. as well. Uh, I will be continue to do some unboxing videos. Um, this week, I am giving you guys three, three, three videos, two unboxing and then one from the heart, which is this one. Uh, the biggest reason for this video today is because of the tragedy that happened. Um, so I definitely wanted to share my take on that, uh, my take on understanding the Mamba mentality. Uh, my take on showing appreciation and celebrating an amazing life, Kobe Bryant. Um, and just my take on being a father and being a brother, being an uncle. Just love your family. Take care of them. Never forget that. And thank you guys. And if you guys have any comments on my intro, outro, my banner, my cartoon, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, but other than that, appreciate you guys. This is JQ215. I'm out.